one. You were back at the rock sand. This is not an actual border. And this nightmare here is worse than we could ever imagine. Our sources, you know, we've only been here an hour or so. It's unbelievable. But there's only a one housing unit in there. And it's it's housing police. They got washrooms and, and stuff for the legal migrants crossing. Um, they actually rented it from the property owner over here. And they're paying, you know, a lot of money, a lot of tax dollars to get that property down there because it's on private land. It's unbelievable. Well, but uh, about a year ago, people were just walking through here, a hundred a day. You no, know, they were they were uh, um, urinating and 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 um, you know doing their droppings through through people's property. It was just a mess. And uh, apparently, we're told it's a it's a massive racket on the other side. There's Americans that are charging to take these people across this Roxton private property area. It's unbelievable. And then there's immigration um, agencies that are advertising, you know, come to the U.S., then go up to Canada through Roxanne. Canada's great. We got, they got health care, welfare, you'll be looked after. Uh, you know, this is all wrong, everyone. This has nothing to do with the Canadian people. These, and apparently there's like six busloads of people a day right now, and they do them at night coming out of this facility. Uh, it's unbelievable and it's going to peak at 400 at some point when the when the when the kids are out of school apparently But this is what's happening to our country. You know the National Citizens Alliance believes That we need to amend the safe third country act just say in that act and met you know just say in that uh, agreement that uh, Canada will not accept illegal migrants Crossing the border they will be returned they, they, there's no asylum. If you're coming from the U.S., there's no asylum ever. They should not be doing any asylum cases. This is insanity in our country, and it's only benefiting, we would argue, the big parties and also commercial interests who are benefiting off uh, all these uh, migrants and immigrants that are coming in. It does not make sense, everyone. Let's spread this. Let's wake up.